Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna White and I love to build simple furniture using basic tools. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this modern base for a round table top. The base in this plan is suitable for a 48 inch, 54 inch or 60 inch tabletop. As shown in the pictures, I used it with a 60 inch tabletop. A few years ago, we built this round dining table top. It's done really good. So I want to save the top and I'll go ahead and sand it because I want to put a different finish on it. I'm going to build a new base in this video. For the base, I'm going to be using 3 quarter inch plywood. Ideally, you'd want to use a matching wood species to the tabletop, but this is what I had on hand, and I'm going to give it a whitewash finish so um, it will blend the two different wood species. So the plans show exactly how to cut the plywood down, and you'll be able to get all the cuts on one sheet of plywood. A table saw is definitely recommended here. Once the pieces are cut, I can use a pocket hole jig to join two pieces together to make an inside corner. So I'm gonna make three more just like this. And then to join them together, I'm going to cap it with a one by. But I wanna talk a little bit about this before I do this. Um, it'd be like this. So obviously you'd wanna use a if you're using a semi-transparent stain, a transparent stain, you'd want to use a wood species that matched uh, this, this wood species. Another option that you could do, especially if you're working with plywood, um, you have an oak top and you're using oak plywood, something like that, what you could do is inset this on the inside and then it would be like that, but obviously smooth, and then order up edge banding in a matching veneer to the plywood and edge band this and trim it and that would look super clean and crisp and modern. To tie all of the inside corner leg pieces together, I used a one by four that I attached on the outside with one and a quarter inch brad nails and glue. If you notice this one by four has straight square edges. I did rip this on the table saw. If you're buying off the shelf, maybe select pine or other square edged wood species would look clean and modern. The base did need a little additional structure, so I ripped some plywood scraps into a two inch width and then nailed and glued inside the hollow table base. After sanding everything well with 120 grit sandpaper and then a 200 grit fine sandpaper, I applied a whitewash finish. It's simply white paint that's watered down and wiped off and allowed to dry. I also protected the top with a poly coat. For attaching the top to the base, I added some 3 quarter inch plywood blocking that I used to screw to the underside of the tabletop. You can also use metal mending plates. I couldn't be happier with how this project turned out. The plans for both the base and the round tabletop in customizable sizes are live on my site. I've linked those plans in the description. Hop on over and check them out and download it, build it and share because we can't wait to see how your project turns out.